What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Discord.js tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're getting started with MongoDB and connecting a database to our Discord bot. And this is where things start getting interesting as from now on, most tutorials are going to require a database as databases is what it's going to let us advance our Discord bot. So before I get started, I do want to give my Discord server a quick shout out. So this is a Discord server for the Discord.js coding community. So if you like coding Discord bots, come here. There's a coding category. If you need help, there are two channels for help. And also I officially released my Discord bot. It's not a public release. It's a private release that you can come here in this channel, DJS bot. And you can actually ask the bot a question about Discord.js docs. So for example, I asked it, hey, I want more information about message.channel.send. And it actually gave me a huge embed with some examples as well as some links to the actual docs. So. Let's go ahead and get started. There's a couple of things we're going to need to actually get this working. The first thing is something called the Robo TD. And this is what's going to allow us to actually go into our database and look at everything that we're adding. It also allows us to quickly add, remove, or edit anything in our database. So this is it right here. I'll have a link in the description to download Robo TD. And the second thing is, of course, a MongoDB account. So all I've done is I went to mongodb.com. I created an account with a Google account. And then this is the next step. So choose an organization, choose the project name in here in the what is the preferred language. Make sure you do JavaScript and click continue. And this is going to go ahead and actually give us the option to choose a bunch of clusters. So Mongo actually gives you an option of a free cluster and it gives you, I think, half a gig of space, which is pretty decent. It honestly will probably carry your bot all the way until like you have your bot in 100 servers. But for now, you actually have a free cluster forever for free. So let's create a free cluster and then we're going to have to choose our cloud provider. I'm going to do AWS, but you can do any of these two. And I'm going to be doing um, North America, Virginia. You can actually change your cluster tier once again here. And yeah, we're gonna be doing the free one. And then you can choose the cluster name. So we're gonna be doing it Discord bot. And then go ahead and create the cluster. It's gonna take roughly one to three minutes to create the actual cluster. So let me go ahead and wait and I'll be right back. All right, my cluster got created. So the next thing I wanna do is actually connect to Robo3T. And the way you're gonna do this is by clicking this connect right here. And you're going to see this page right here. It's going to tell you to add a connection to IP address so you can get whitelisted. So go ahead and add your IP address. There should be a little button down here and also create a database user. So it's going to tell you to put a username and password. Make sure you keep those safe as we're going to be using that in this tutorial. Then choose a connection method. We're going to choose connect using MongoDB compass and go ahead and copy this line right here. This SRV go into Robo. And this is the screen that you should be seeing. As you can see, I currently have my bots database. Click create. And down here from SRV, go ahead and import that string right here. And here where it says password, go ahead and change it to your password. And then click from SRV down here. And that should basically get all the information for you. And then just click save. So let me go ahead and put my password. All right, so now that you have that established, if you didn't name your little connection here, just right click, edit, and choose a name of it. Then go ahead and connect to it. So click connect, and you're gonna see the database pop up right here. This is my Discord bot database, so I'm gonna go ahead and hide it. And right here, this is our connection. Next, let's go ahead and right click our connection and click create database. This is gonna be the actual database of your Discord bot. So name it whatever your Discord bot's name, it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna do Discord bot uh, DB. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and copy the name of our database because we're gonna be using this in our code. So I'm gonna copy this, create, and now this is our database. If you open this up, we have three folders, collections, functions, and users. We're gonna be mainly inside of the collections folder. All right, let's get to the code inside of our main.js. And actually, before we get started, we actually have to import a new package or install a new package. And the package we're going to be using is called Mongoose. Mongoose is what's going to allow us to connect to our database. We could install the regular MongoDB packages, but we're going to be using Mongoose as I believe it's a better option to connect to MongoDB. So npn i or install mongoose. Go ahead and install that. Once that is installed, let me just finish the installation here. Once that's installed, go into your main.js and let's create a variable that's going to require mongoose. So const uh, mongoose equals require and we're going to require mongoose. 
All right, so now let's establish a connection inside of our code. All right, so back inside of our Mongo dashboard here, click connect again, and then click on connect your application. Go ahead and copy this one more time, this SRV copy. Go into your Discord bot, and inside of your .env, as you have your Discord bot and prefix, you can also do this with a JSON file if you're doing that to store your prefix. We're going to create a variable that's going to hold that little SRV. So the variable is going to be named MongoDB, um, I don't know, SRV, doesn't matter. And then go ahead and paste that SRV right there. What you have to do inside of this is actually go ahead and change your password one more time. And inside my database, go ahead and copy your database's name. So in Robo, this is the database name. So copy that right here. So I'm going to paste it right here. And now I'm going to go ahead and put my password. All right, back inside of our main.js, let's go ahead and actually establish a connection. So below your command handler and your event handler, go ahead and do mongoose.connect. And we want to connect using that little SRV string that we just stored inside of our .env. So we can do process.env and then dot the name of the variable, which I think I named it mongodb underscore SRV. Then we're going to do a comma and then we're going to open this up with brackets. And inside here, we're going to do a couple options that I believe that you should have as I also use it in my main database. So we're going to use use new URL parser. And this is going to be equal to true. We're going to be use unified typology equals to true. And then finally, we're going to do use find and modify modify. And we're going to set this to false. And this is because while we're, con we're actually getting a connection and finding an object in our database and modifying it, we want to be able to use um, the regular MongoDB function for that. So after this, we're going to do a dot den and in here, just going to pass just an arrow function in, and we're just going to console log saying, Hey, we connected to the database every single time we start our discord bots. So we know that it's actually working. So console.log, we're going to console.log saying connected, uh, connected to the, the data base, if I can spell correctly. And then finally, we're just going to do a little bit of error handling. And it looks like I opened this up without brackets for some reason. So let me open that up with actual brackets. We have no problem. There we go. We're just going to do a catch. And we're just going to catch if anything happens, any error. We're going to go ahead and just log the error inside of the console. So just like this with an error function. And we're going to have a variable called error in there. And we're just going to console that log. And we're just going to console that log that error. So that actually established our connection. So if you go ahead and actually run our bot, you're going to see that it's going to say, hey, we connected to the database. So run it. Uh, ignore these warnings right here. Currently, there is these warnings, but I've actually done my research and these warnings are safe to ignore and will be removed in the next version of Mongo. So just ignore these, but as you can see, connected to database. We can now start using our database inside of our code. And the final thing that we're going to be doing in this tutorial is creating a folder here in our Discord bot directory. This is going to be named models. And in here, it's going to hold basically all of the schemas for our Discord bots. I'm going to have to say this, but guys, please go ahead and watch a MongoDB tutorial, not necessarily for Discord bot, but an overall tutorial, because I'm not going to go ahead and explain everything. And I know I'm going to get a lot of questions in my Discord server. I am happy to help. However, make sure you can at least follow if I say schema model or something like that. So make sure to invest just like 30 minutes, watch a 30 minute tutorial on MongoDB. And then next video, you won't be that lost. The next video will probably be coming out either today or tomorrow. And we're going to get started with a currency system. So with that being said, these are the Patreons. Thank you for all the Patreons who support me. If you want to support me in Patreon, make sure to check the link down below. As well as down there, there's going to be a link to my Discord server. Come here, enjoy it, use my bot as much as you guys want to. I'm actually working on the second version of this bot that's going to have a huge currency system with shops, ranks. It's going to be really cool. Um, and yeah, it's taking me a lot of time to actually code this, but I really like how it's turning out. So make sure to join my Discord server. And yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys later on my next video. Peace.